Hey, this is Mike. I am in Whiteville, North Carolina, visiting Van Underwood Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram. And I'm checking out a super awesome vehicle. It's a 2016 Dodge Charger RT Scat Pack. And it is an amazing vehicle. Tons and tons of awesome features, quality, comfort, speed, the probably one of the most epic sounding exhausts of all time according to me so let's go ahead and check it out it has the 20 inch 20 inch hyper black 2 alloy forged aluminum wheels which look absolutely stunning and you'll notice that red thing in the back is your caliper which is made by brembo which is a super high performance uh, brake company brake part company you also have the slotted disc brakes here in the front and the back here's the brake caliper and the rotor here in the back and you'll notice hopefully that it has the ventilated disc brakes as well as the slotted disc brakes so let's kind of get a profile view here of this amazing vehicle tinted windows would be a recommendation let's take a look here in the front check it out check out the scat pack badging here in the front you also have the 392 hemi badging here on the side so this has a an srt engine which we'll get into in a few minutes but check out the front end now i just want to mention that you might notice uh, this vehicle is brand new off the truck. It's been washed, but it hasn't been through the service department It does have some little bit of moisture there in the, one of the headlights, which will be taken care of by the service department But other than that absolutely amazing vehicle HID Projector by function projector and meaning that they uh, Serve as the low and the high beams as well as an LED fog light down here Right here in the center, you have the radar sensing system for your adaptive cruise control. Awesome vehicle. This is what the key looks like. It's a proximity key, has the lock and unlock buttons there. You have a remote start plus the ability to open up the trunk. You have the Dodge emblem there on the back side. It also has a physical key on the inside that you can take out by moving that little lever there and take out the uh, the key if you need to do that but otherwise you can keep this key in your pocket the whole time and interact with the vehicle completely so let's go ahead and check it out i'm going to put the key in my pocket and show you how to lock and unlock the doors without using the key all you have to do to lock it right now it's unlocked is push this button and it, un and it locks the door if i want to unlock all i have to do is put my hand behind the handle and it will unlock the doors so has a sensing system there to where it makes it really easy to use the vehicle without have, having to fumble around with keys and stuff. Here's the inside of the passenger door. Check out the stitching. You have that contrast and a French design stitching there on the side. All soft to the touch almost everywhere. You have the stitching here as well. Metallic accents and some storage area here it also has a premium beats sound system which sounds amazing there's your threshold power seat with power lumbar support here on the passenger side now these seats are a combination of napa leather and alcantara suede here, there in the center and the suede is actually perforated there in the center uh, portion of the seat because this heated and cooled seats here in the front and check out this scat pack emblem embroidered in the back of the seat isn't that cool just overall the quality is amazing the seat has a really nice big bolsters there on the side without being too intrusive they just kind of hug your body perfectly and very soft surfaces just amazing seat. you actually have to get and sit in one of these vehicles to see what i'm talking about so there's your leg room you can see it's plenty of leg room this is a fairly large car so you have good leg room in the front and back you have a lockable glove compartment here which has a little shelf system there at the top so you can organize your your stuff now the bottom port portion it uh, has the um, like a felt line sort of like a pool table felt so you can protect your stuff and then the top portion is just plastic let's take a look here in the 
back door. See what we see. There's the inside of the back door, same styling as the front, all soft to the touch surfaces all around your arm. And even this portion right here is soft. And this part that has the, like a uh, synthetic material, but it has like a, like a uh, leather pattern, I guess, on it. Really awesome. There's your threshold. Like I said, plenty of room back here as well. Even with the seats all the way back, you still have some leg room. And the seats themselves are heated back here with the same uh, leather and suede combination with the perforations there on the center. You also have the latch system for the child seats. Your heated seat controls are there, plus some USB ports for plugging in and charging your cell phone and stuff. You also have some, which this is awesome. You gotta check out my night video. These are illuminated cup holders back here and a little storage pocket there as well as an armrest. You also can fold these seats down by pulling this little strap here. Little strap, and then you can fold the seat down like so to add to your cargo space if you need to do that. Let's take a look at the back of the vehicle. And awesome dual exhaust back here with the chrome tips, parking sensors back here, across the back. You also have a backup camera. There's the lens here. This vehicle looks absolutely amazing at night. You gotta check out my night video. Check out the spoiler too. It has like a semi-gloss deck lid spoiler there, which looks amazing. Everything about this car looks amazing to me. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up the trunk. Like I said, you don't actually have to use the key. Uh, there's a little button right here. You just push that, and it opens up for you. Kind of pops up for you. So here's your trunk space. You have uh, two points of light. Plenty of room, even without folding the seats down. You have a... There's part, your speakers are actually covered up, which is pretty cool. So you don't have a lot of wires exposed. There's your subwoofer for the beat system which is cool once you fold the seats down you can they fold down in a 60 40 split fashion so you can have a combination of cargo and passenger space depending on what you need by folding one or the other or both so under here is some more stuff you have some more storage space and what well, this is pretty cool here this is this little hook you can hook right up here like so so that way it gets out of the way. Now there's no spare tire in this particular vehicle. It has a tire inflator kit. You can uh, have a spare tire if you wanted to buy one, but this one in particular just doesn't have one. There's your battery. There's a net, it goes right there. And this vehicle, since it's new, it actually comes with the bright pedals. And these are the bright pedals that will be installed uh, for the new owner, but, um, but they keep just the standard ones on there at this dealership until the new owner gets the vehicle and then they'll put them on uh, so that way they stay perfect perfect condition in order to use the remote start you just have to make sure that the vehicle is completely locked like so and you just double tap this button Like I was saying before, I think this has the one of the most amazing exhaust systems in pretty much any vehicle that I've seen. It's not as loud as the Hellcat. The Hellcat is pretty pretty loud. Uh, this one has a really good rumble. But, I mean, you can still hear it, of course, but it just has a really smooth but deep, awesome rumble to me. So this is a an amazing vehicle so to turn off the remote start you just double tap the button again and it turns off the vehicle the fuel door is on the driver's side and there's the release button for it on the inside of the door it's kind of hidden and here's your door and it's a capless design so you could just put the gas in there you don't have to worry about a cap it even says no cap and you have the ability to put gas in it with a gas can you just have to use a little funnel that's provided and has this little rubber thing to keep it clean but can't get any more simple than that 
Starting the vehicle without the remote start, you just have to have the key inside, whether it be in your pocket or whatever. And you put your foot on the brake and hold it and you just push this button. Okay, I know you want to see it. Let's go ahead and check out the engine. Absolutely amazing front end of the vehicle. The hood is amazing. <laughs> Can't get over it. So let's go ahead and open up the hood. Now to open up the hood, there's a little latch, a little bit to the right of center. Right in here, you just move it to the left and you lift up the hood. Now you notice the hood has this little scoop right here, which actually goes through into the engine bay. Um, but it doesn't actually go like into the intake or anything like that But it does allow the engine to get some fresh air through here and you have the SRT embossed there in the uh, In the cover there, so let's go ahead and check out the engine Wow huge 6.4 liter 485 horsepower powered by SRT written there on the sides and just an amazing sounding and performing engine. 475 pound-feet of torque as well. It's like a masterpiece of modern muscle car engineering. Let's take a look here on the driver's door. And it's basically the same styling as the other side. It has all the comfort features everything soft to the touch all the contrast stitching uh, you have we already saw the little fuel button there but you have your door lock buttons your power window buttons and the fronts are one touch up and down but I want to mention I don't know if you can see here at the top of the edge of this glass it's actually two pieces of glass sandwiched together with a uh, like an acoustic material on the inside to block out noises which is pretty awesome the side mirrors are adjusted here. You just pick a side and adjust it with a little pad there. And then you have your presets for your seats. And did I mention, I don't know if I mentioned this, 550 watt Beats sound system. So there's one of the speakers that's part of that system. So here on this side, on the driver's seat, which looks absolutely amazing, by the way, active head restraints. Now, you have the power adjustable seat with the power adjustable lumbar support and right here we have your headlight controls you have an automatic off parking lights headlights and to turn on the fog lights you just push in like so and you have two dimmer switches one is for the interior gauges and the other one is for the ambient light and there's a button there to pop your trunk as well check out the floorboard you have a place to put your left foot there there's your emergency brake or parking brake plenty of room the uh, the mats are hooked in to where they don't slide around on you and get in the way and like I said before the pedals will be installed later so it just has a standard pedals now and the steering column is a powered tilt and telescoping electric steering column so you can really get fine-tune it uh, right where you want very easily even while you're driving Okay, here we are on the inside. 2016 Dodge Charger Scat Pack. Absolutely amazing. I'm excited. Hopefully, I'm able to articulate myself properly since I'm so excited. It's hard to concentrate. So, let's go ahead and go over the uh, the window sticker. Let me just show it to you, and you can use the pause button and kind of get all the all the details there. Twenty five on the highway with four hundred and eighty five horsepower, six point four liter V eight. How it accomplishes twenty five on the highway is it has a uh, cylinder deactivation system to where it can cut back to four cylinders while you're just driving easy. So it really helps out with the uh, the fuel economy, and you absolutely do not know the uh, the difference while you're driving. It, it's like a seamless transition. 
Okay, so didn't mention before, but it has an eight-speed automatic transmission. The Torque Flight eight-speed automatic transmission is absolutely amazing. So you can check out some of my other videos. Uh, try to post some, maybe a link in the description to uh, some videos where you can actually hear the engine uh, shift through gears. It's just absolutely amazing. It, it's, it's perfect. I don't know how to explain it other than that. Okay, so here's the steering wheel. And it is a leather wrap steering wheel. And you can see what's pretty cool. It has these little dimples here on the sides. And I guess they are perforations because it does appear that they go all the way through. Let's see if the camera will ever focus. There we go. Yeah, isn't that cool? It looks amazing. It feels so high quality. You got to check it out for yourself. Go to a dealership. Go to Van Underwood. You have the stitching on the inside. You also have the smooth leather more towards the bottom. And check it out, it has these little bumps, grips here at the bottom, as well as the top. Don't see that very often, they're typically only on the top there. Smooth leather on the top there, and a good thickness. Good thickness on the steering wheel, uh, a little bit of cushion there. Doesn't dig into your hands while you're driving, you can really grip it uh, without, you know, harming your, you know, like hurting your hands after long periods of time. Metallic accent there. So let's go ahead and go over some of the buttons on the steering wheel. Here on the right side is your cruise control. You just make sure you turn it on with that button. You can set it, you can change through your speeds, you can resume and cancel there. And it's not just a regular cruise control, it has an adaptive cruise control to where you can turn that feature on and you can change. If you're not familiar with adaptive cruise control, it will basically follow the vehicle in front of you and, and adjust your speed to match their speed if they are going slower to, than you. So that way, if you're going 70 miles an hour on the highway, and there's a car in front of you going 65, uh, if you don't want to pass them, of course, then it will just slow your speed down to 65, and that way you uh, do not hit them, and you don't have to constantly adjust your speed. Uh, it'll automatically do that for you. And you can set your following distance. So these buttons here will allow you to have a closer or further following distance. So right here, it'll kind of show you close or far following distance it also has a small icon there on the bottom on the I mean on the side here so that way you can you know check it out even though there's other information there in the center so the closer you you know of course you want a good following distance uh, to match your the situation so you can kind of fine-tune it there that's a really cool uh, awesome feature so here on the back side is your paddle shifter so you could change through the gears you have a plus and you have a minus there but right below behind and below actually below uh, the paddle shifter on the steering column on the steering wheel is this little button here and this is a toggle switch Let's see if you can see it it's a toggle switch and it has a center button and the one on the right there's two of them one on both sides so you have a volume here on the right side so I can adjust the volume I can also push the center button to change through like AM, FM, satellite radio, that kind of stuff. So the button on the back side, on this side of the steering wheel, uh, the up and down changes through the stations, so I could change you to the stations, and then the center button changes through your presets, so you'll cycle through your presets there. So these are really good features so far, just keeping your hands on the wheel, eyes on the road, you're able to do a lot of things on the radio. But check this out, on this side you have your Bluetooth phone, so you can answer calls, hang up. You also have a complete voice recognition system to where you can use to change through the radio stations using your voice. You could go to a certain address on a map. You can uh, adjust the climate control. You could do all kinds of things with the voice recognition system. It's amazing. It actually comes, the manual actually comes with a whole uh, setup guide, and it'll actually get used to your voice. So the first couple times you use it, may not, it might be a little difficult re recognizing your voice, but it, you know, it adapts to your voice as, the more you use it, so it gets more accurate there. So these buttons here are for this OK and arrow buttons that correspond with this menu system between your gauges, which we'll get to in just a second. Here's your windshield wiper controls and your turn signal there. So here's your gauges. I love the font that they use for these numbers. It's like a really sporty font. You have your RPMs here on the left, which I can't, can't do that enough. That's awesome. And then you have there on the right your speedometer, which goes up to 180, by the way. Pretty interesting. And uh, 
pretty neat looking pattern you've got the red around the outside just amazing amazing looking vehicle so the center portion is all of just a big screen so you have your range now these are things you can customize right now it has the range there outside temperature your uh, engine coolant temperature here your fuel gauge on that side your um, what gear you're in there and then right now we're in the it's showing a big digital speedometer so using these buttons here I can uh, change the information basically so I'm going to kind of cycle through using the down arrow once I push the down arrow you'll notice this is part of a menu system so the speedometer is just one option so see the number little one there when I let go of it it goes away so scrolling down this is the vehicle info screen so this is the second uh, screen but you notice these little bars there at the bottom shows you that there's more information if I go right or the left. Right now it's showing the air intake temperature, which is amazing. Scroll to the right, engine torque. Scrolling to the right again, engine power, that's the horsepower. Scrolling again will give you your tire pressure. Coolant temperature. Transmission temperature. Oil temperature. Oil pressure oil life, battery voltage, and back to the air intake. So the vehicle info screen gives you tons of information there uh, with different gauges and has a little needle there. It's really easily seen so as you're driving you can actually keep it on your torque or your horsepower and all that stuff. It's really, it makes the driving this vehicle much much more fun. So let's scroll down again. So now that we're in the performance, you thought that was cool. Now we have the performance uh, information. So right now, we have the reaction time. You have a, a timer, so you can have your, um, like a 0 60 timer, your best, your last, all this stuff. Uh, it's really awesome. So now let's scroll to the right. We have a 0 to 100. We have a quarter, a eighth of a mile. We have a quarter of a mile. Braking distance. Current G-forces on the vehicle, right, left, forward, and back peak g-forces lap timer and you have a lap time history and top speed the vehicles have been driven so far which is pretty awesome so really awesome features there as you can tell driver assist this is where you can turn on and off the adaptive cruise control fuel economy this gives you a uh, you know your average and of course, you know, this is a little bit skewed because the vehicle has low miles and hadn't really been driven on the road much uh, yet. It's only 14 miles, so scrolling down again. Actually, let's go back up to here, and uh, we have two screens. We have two uh, ones that we can reset and, and measure. Then you have a trip A and trip B, and they both uh, give your miles, your miles per gallon, and the time. And what it took to drive those miles which is pretty awesome scrolling down again you have your audio basically what your radio is doing and any stored messages will show up here like say if you need to change your oil or if there's a tire pressure low or something stuff like that screen setup this is where you can change the things on the uh, on the sides here like your range and, and outside temperature that kind of stuff you can change those things and then it scrolls back to your digital speedometer so it's a, I know I quickly went through it, but there's so much stuff in there that, that's cool, but also just basic information that you can get if you need it. So, let's take a look over here at the touch screen. Now, we already saw the start button there. And one thing that people ask is, how do you turn the ACC mode? Basically, if you just want to listen to the radio, you, all you do is push the button without pushing the pedal, and it'll turn on as long as the key's in the vehicle. You turn on your radio and stuff without starting the engine. Okay, so here's your touch screen, and uh, this is a whole nother slew of information here. So right now we're in the radio screen. You have AM, FM, satellite radio, uh, your presets there at the top. You can direct tune uh, using that button. You also have a media button that's separate from that. It uh, plays mu music through di all different sources, USB, auxiliary, Bluetooth, and an SD card input. So you have lots of different ways of playing music through the sound system. Let's go right here to controls. This is where you can turn your heated seats and heated steering wheel and ventilated seats uh, on and off here in the front. 
You can also turn your auto dim rear mirror off. You can also turn the screen off if you need to. Tons of settings in here. I mean, just display settings, voice settings, clock settings, um, all kinds of stuff here. So let's go into apps. Now the app screen, uh, this is this is where you have like iHeartRadio, and really it, just about everything this uh, this screen has to offer is in the app screen. And let's go ahead and scroll there to the right. It doesn't swipe, okay, so you can't swipe it. You just have to push the arrows and it'll cycle through. This little screen protector is getting in the way. Travel link is pretty cool. If you're not familiar with that, you can get all kinds of information with it. My, one of my favorite is fuel prices. So you can find the nearest gas station by sorting it by distance. You can find the lowest, the cheapest gas station by sorting it by price. You could change the fuel type. This particular vehicle, I would recommend having a, uh, a higher end gasoline possibly. So you could change that and find out the prices there. You can also get weather, uh, weather information. You can also look at a weather map and center over car. Let's go to 100 miles. There we go. So it's a pretty clear day, so there's not much to see. You can see some clouds are a little bit over the ocean there. And Van Underwood uh, is in Whiteville, which is near Wilmington, and there's Myrtle Beach down here, so you can get an idea of where we're at, so you can stop by and visit next time you're in the area. Okay, so let's go to the climate control. Right now it's off. Let's go ahead and turn it on just so we can see what it looks like. Somebody's got the fan on really high. So you got your temperature on the both sides. Right now they're synced. You can unsync them by pushing that button there. Uh, you also have your heated controls there if you want to go into that. There's where you want the air to blow. So we could choose when to have the air there or coming out this way. You can also recirculate the air up here. Turn your air conditioning on, front and rear defrosters, all that good stuff. Navigation screen. You can view a map. You can see where you're at. You can zoom in and out, get your bearings. That's pretty awesome. Now you can also put in a particular address. Uh, you can put in the address there. You can also save addresses, have favorites. You can have your home address in there. You can find different points of interest like um, restaurants and stuff. And let's go to the phone. So right now there's no phone paired. But once you pair it, you'll have access to your phone book, recent calls, you can make, you can dial calls, you have favorites up here, you have a caller ID menu there, screen in the center. You also have the ability to transfer the, the call back to your cell phone when you want to have a private call and you don't want everybody to hear uh, basically the information, you know, the, your phone call. So that's kind of a rundown, quick rundown of what the screen does. Lots and lots of information there. Um, and that... I could spend all day on that but that's not the end there's another button that's located off the screen and it's right here super track pack let's go ahead and push that and this is where you can get now some of the information is in the other screen uh, between the gauges but this actually has your launch control you can activate launch control which gives you a a vertical launch um, like you wouldn't believe now I can't activate it now because the new owner will have to do that after the vehicle reaches 500 miles you can launch RPM setup. You can change the uh, RPMs to where you want the vehicle to start off at. Drive mode setup here. Uh, you can adjust the um, the traction control, the steering, engine transmission. Uh, you can set up a sport mode so you can uh, change everything you want. The traction control is uh, you can actually turn it off in two ways. You have a sport mode and then you have completely off. Then you have a, the steering is pretty cool, it has three, comfortable, normal, and then sport. Sport is a stiffer uh, turning steering wheel. You can turn the paddle shifters on and off, that in case you just don't accidentally hit them. Now if you accidentally drive and you accidentally hit the paddle shifter, it has an eight speed transmission so it's not going to, you know, like damage anything. You just push and hold down the plus side and it'll go back into drive. But you can turn that off if you just don't want to have that on at all. So, pretty awesome feature features in this vehicle to take advantage of the speed and performance that the vehicle has. It makes it really fun. Okay, so let's go ahead and continue down here. Uh, okay. There's tons of stuff here. Uh, you have a traditional volume knob for your radio and tune through the stations. Uh, sport mode is this is right here 
telling the vehicle that you want to emphasis quick at, quickly access that so you don't have to go into the super track pack pages there um, you know you want to emphasize performance you don't care about gas mileage as much and then you have a lane departure warning right here or lane sense is what would they call it which will alert you if you're steering off the road or whatever and then you have a crash mitigation forward collision warning crash mitigation system so uh, it'll let you know like if it's a you're getting close to a vehicle rapidly accelerating and you're getting close to a vehicle it's gonna try to alert you but it will actually break engage the brakes to help uh, slow you down if it senses that there is a uh, dangerous you know like a crash is imminent so uh, it's a pretty awesome feature there there's your trash control now you can push that it turns it to sport okay I push it and hold it let me go ahead and push it and hold it takes a second and it completely turns it off now and push it again and it goes back on so that's how you operate that your parking sensors you can turn those off here if you want to and now you have some redundant buttons for your climate control your fan speed your temperature your front and rear defrosters your air conditioning recirculate the air is all down here as well as on the screen so you have a quick access to it you have a 12 volt power supply down here and a little storage pocket to put your cell phone or whatever so here is your shifter it's right next to this little pocket that has a little dodge brothers emblem in there it's pretty cool but here's the shifter and it's really comfortable it's a kind of like a ratchet shifter modern ratchet shifter so let's go ahead and go to reverse and check out the backup camera backup camera has high clarity as far as colors and contrast you turn the steering wheel and the little lines there will move as well and it also when you have it in reverse it's going to remind you that the parking sensors are now active so you don't get surprised when it starts beeping at you okay so let's go down to neutral and drive that's your normal drive position eight speed transmission it can actually skip gears to keep the right gear ratio for the vehicle at all times and then you have a um, a manual mode basically which which you just slide it over here and it turns into a ratchet shifter like a like i was showing you before like telling you before so basically you can shift through the gears similar to the paddle shifters but this is just a different um way of doing it so that's pretty awesome all right i really like this this pattern that they have on here that's around the vehicle it's looks pretty cool the dash is a non-reflective soft material as well okay so let's continue on we have this little thing that slides out of the way and then you have illuminated cup holders in here there's your armrest and this lifts up and then you have this storage area with a 12 volt power supply and it's all felt lined and you also have this removable tray so you can get it out of the way and dump it or whatever but this is where your auxiliary input USB and SD card go for playing music through the sound system so that way you can plug in something and leave it in here and you can leave it in there or you can run the wires through this little section right here so that way they don't get pinched and you can close this up up here is your auto dim rear view mirror now it's auto dimming right now because i have the shade of the light sensor you have an assistance button and 911 this is for absolute emergencies it will actually connect you to a 911 operator and it has its own cellular connection so you do not actually have to have a cell phone to do this same thing with the assistant you can just push that and you can talk to a like a roadside assistance uh, person so like say uh, this vehicle comes with uh, I don't know it's like 60,000 miles or I don't know what it is now but they used to come with a hundred thousand miles but they come with a certain amount of uh, time for roadside assistance for free so if you get a flat tire run out of gas all that stuff you just push that button even if you don't have your cell phone with you you can talk, contact the uh, the operator and get some help really awesome features there right on top of the uh, the rear view mirror right here is your microphones for your uh, Bluetooth system so they're out of the way here's your place to put your shades pretty good size you have some tap lights here 
There's your home link garage door openers there in the center. The visors have mirrors and lights. You have a little thing that sticks out there, plus it slides out like so, in case you need to get that just that right spot, because it seems like the the, uh, the the sun's always trying to get in your face while you're driving, especially in the winter time, since it's low in the sky. Okay, so let's take a look in the back at the visibility. Let's take a look there. The headrests don't seem to be getting in the way much. You do have some significant blind spots there on the on the corners. You want to take that in consideration while you're driving. You can see out of the side glass though. All right, there you have it. Awesome vehicle. There's tons of features. I, I hope I didn't go skip over anything. If I did, let me know in the comment sections if there's anything that you can say to add information-wise as far as this vehicle. If you have any experience with a, a 15 or 16 Scat Pack, please leave it in the comment section. It really help out. It's an amazing vehicle. I love it. So thank you for watching, and thank you to Van Underwood Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram here in Whiteville, North Carolina for allowing me to show off an awesome vehicle, and I'll see you guys next time.